is Carrie Love Cat. Hey everybody, it's Carrie here at Carrie Love Cat, and this is my weekly um crafty vlog and today I have a really fun Thanksgiving craft idea for you all and it's to make a little Thanksgiving picture scrapbook now I know what you're probably thinking like scrapbooking is so um, advanced these days and you can do digital scrapbooking and like really awesome layouts and this is actually just a little mini photo album you can see I kept the plastic on it's still from um, I still have that on from Recollections and this is just a really really fast way to commemorate your Thanksgiving of course you could do a whole book about each Thanksgiving but I don't have time for that so the idea is that you get a really cute little um, photo album like this and this one has pages where you just put two pictures in and then you write a little bit um, and so I wanted something that I could add to each year very easily and yes it's kind of a pain to like print out the pictures each year but it's also kind of like really fun because you can't fill up the whole book you have to wait for each year I think I counted and there's something like 40 more pages here so last year at Thanksgiving I was pregnant which I wrote about in here and this year will be my baby's very first Thanksgiving so I'm really excited about that and if I continue to do this every year she will be like 40 years old when it's complete and this will be something that she can have and put out at her Thanksgiving. Christmas is such a huge holiday and Halloween is such a huge crafty holiday and Thanksgiving kind of gets sandwiched in between so <laughs> and it's really like it's not about all the hubbub it's really about family and friends and love and being thankful and I don't know if you can hear my daughter she's talking in the background right now <laughs> so I have to make this video quick um but this is just a way to, this is a craft or a scrapbook rather that kind of goes along with that theme. So basically what I've done is I have a page or two for each um, holiday. And in the very beginning there's like a, a, the first page where you write and I put, this is our Thanksgiving book. May we always be blessed with friends, family, food, and love. And I signed it. And then we begin with the very first Thanksgiving that my husband and I ever shared. And by the way, these are the only two pictures I had that I could find from that. And we took a salsa dancing class and I hated it. And time out, look at my outfit. <laughs> anyway, you can see that all I did was add like a little leaf embellishment. So like after you put the pictures in, you can totally go ahead and add little stickers and things. Um, so then like the next year, and some of them are this way, his brother's in a band, so we went to see his brother, and let me put it this way, we had Thanksgiving with the family in San Francisco. Every year they have a, so here we are again, and this is 2007, and every year they get a picture in San Francisco family pictures. So I have all the family pictures. I'm not gonna show them all. I'm just gonna show you a few ideas of, of what I have and what we've done. Um, one year we did, we were in Brooklyn. My husband was working in New York, so I went out to meet him in Brooklyn. And we actually ran our first race together ever. And there I am being silly, but that was our little medals. And it was in the Prospect Park in Brooklyn, which I love. I love running in that park feels like you know I'm from Pennsylvania so it feels like Pennsylvania <laughs> and like or like upstate New York um, so that was really really special I still have that medal and that was my favorite race ever because at the very end there's like all these guys dressed up like Santa Claus and turkeys and it was just really really fun so some other memories to share this year was 2011 and we ended up deciding, I have to show that picture of my husband, to have Thanksgiving in our little house, which at the time, we were living in this tiny little duplex, and we're like, oh yeah, we'll have Thanksgiving in our house. Well, oh my goodness. It is so much work. Now this was four or five years ago. I had never made a turkey. We had never made a turkey. I didn't even know how to make mashed potatoes, which is crazy, because I make mashed potatoes all the time now. I didn't know how to make mashed potatoes, didn't know how to make gravy, I didn't know how to make stuffing, and we were, like, we took, like, 14 trips to Target, to Trader Joe's, like, we were, it's crazy, 
and we had no dishwasher so that's just some of the dishes the next day I think I washed dishes for like three days we ended up having a little fire we had a fire pit in our backyard and we sat with friends so I'm trying not to show people oh I just well I'm trying not to show people because you know anyway moving on um and then here what we do every year is we do a turkey trot so usually um you know if we're in LA we'll do one in LA but we've done them wherever we are for Thanksgiving for example here we did one and this is 2013 my husband was working in Philadelphia and we went to Philadelphia to do the turkey trot we had Thanksgiving with friends and I think I have a picture here and it was 23 degrees out so one of our traditions every year is we have a couple of traditions one is that we always run a turkey trot and this year I'm so excited because we're gonna take the baby out in the buggy so it'll be really fun and another tradition is that we um, we always go to my we usually go to be with family on Thanksgiving, but we always have a Thanksgiving here. We call it like football Thanksgiving because I like make another little turkey and just some different things that my family eats that my husband's family doesn't eat. And that way I get the leftovers too. And yeah, so I think we have other traditions that I can't remember. Um, and then here, this year was really fun too because we were in Philadelphia, so we went to see the Rocky statue, which I'm like a huge Rocky fan. And my husband did a play, so that's his play. It was on the um, taxis, which was kind of exciting to see. So let me see what else I can share. So last year I was pregnant. I have no pregnant Thanksgiving pictures in here. And I made an entire cornucopia centerpiece out of junk mail. Don't know why. Just wanted to do it. <laughs> you can take the teacher out of the classroom. <laughs> but yeah, and we also, there was a stray cat in our backyard who was like half dead. It was like all beat up. And we took it to the vet and nursed it back to health. And oh my gosh, it was such an ordeal. And then we tried to find a home for it. Nobody wanted it. And my my in-laws took him. And his name was Berto. And he liked to sit on my husband's head. And he was little. He was a... He was a young guy. I think he was still a baby. Um, and then here's another one of Berto. And I, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I actually posted Berto on his, wait here, oh there he is, with my husband. How cute is that? So there's Berto. So whenever we go see my in-laws, we get to see Berto too. So that's just like one little way. And like this year, I try to do like just four pictures. It also helps to do a little book like this because you can't fill up the whole book. You have to pick four of your best pictures. And this is fun, I have this out, and when I have um, our little Thanksgiving at our house, everybody loves to look at it and look for their picture and remember. So it's just a sweet little simple way to remember the holidays. I am still going to put like our Thanksgiving book here with like stickers or something like that. And yeah, I will probably have this for the next 20 years at least to add to and so I hope this inspires some of you guys out there to do your own Thanksgiving book and to share it here with all of us so I love you all and happy Thanksgiving and gobble gobble